About three years ago, my dad died suddenly. That event sort of caused some more red flags, I think, for not just myself, but my entire family. Growing up, I always remember kind of getting chest pains or feeling my heart skip a beat. We knew I had these abnormalities. I always kind of knew I thought something was off, but no one could really tell me what until coming to Stanford. My sister was referred over to Stanford first, and she went through a series of testing and they were able to isolate a genetic indicator for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is a disease where a genetic change in the gene that codes for the heart muscle causes the heart to become thicker and stiffer. My heart shows minor symptoms of the disease, so Dr. Ashley made the recommendation that I move forward with having an ICD implanted. They provided a really good picture of what various options could look like. We take a lot of time with the patients and we want them to be able to understand how the condition affects them and how it affects their other family members so that we can potentially protect other family members. We're really caring for the whole family. You're here for your own care, but we're also thinking about your children and your brothers and your sisters and your cousins and your parents. Who else in your family could have this heart condition but they don't know it? I'm the only one of my siblings who doesn't have kids yet, so I wanted to understand what family planning would look like with this disease and with this device. For me and any potential family I have moving forward, I can stop this disease sort of dead in its tracks. I have the MRI report and I have the echo images. Okay. The first conversation I ever had with Heidi before I had met the team or anything, she said the best way to honor your father is going to be to make sure that his kids live a super long and, and healthy life and we're here to help you do that. So when you've had a, a sudden cardiac death in the family, especially one that's so recent, in honor of their father's passing, we would do our very best to keep them safe and to support their quality of life into the future. Just knowing that there is a full team at Stanford and it's not just one specialist who then has to refer you somewhere else, that's made it a lot easier and I think has quelled a lot of the anxieties for me. I just feel really grateful to have expert care and to have the team in place who will be able to provide the best care for the rest of my life. I think my dad would have been floored by the team at Stanford. Stanford Hospital is once again ranked one of the best hospitals in the nation by U.S. News and World Report. Discover more at StanfordHealthCareNow.org.